it here. So, you know, you've spent your time creating several videos in 4K quality and you're very happy and, and you know, you go to download them and then this happens. So let's have a look. So you connect to USB, connect the phone, iPhone to USB as you usually do, no big deal. Go into the um, appropriate folder and um, you're looking for your latest videos. And um, like in my case, I, I built a batch here, so I batched batched video for my next YouTube video. And then you start looking, oh yeah, that's there, that's there, that's there, and then you see that, oops, 007 is not there. So then you like, get into a panic, you know, start the air conditioning, start ripping your hair out, like you can see here, and, um, you know, basically not having such a good day. But anyway, um, let's not panic completely, and um, I'm just walking through the process of what this looks like on the phone, and, and um, how to how to get out of this mess. Now there are lots of different solutions out there, um, but many of them involve quite intrusive methods of you know, changing your settings, resetting your iPhone, like lots of, so, so I really didn't like any of the ones that I, so, but this one that I found is the, I think the least intrusive method to get around this problem, so, yeah, let's have a look. So anyway, first uh, word about iCloud, yes I have iCloud, and um, yes I have enough storage space there to store uh, pretty much an unlimited amount of videos from my workflow perspective. There is um, one problem, and I'd just like to indicate that. So here's iCloud for those that are used to going into the um, web interface for iCloud, and um, here's the offending video. So the, the actual video is being uploaded to iCloud. I'll, so I'll show it also on the phone. So it's actually, from that perspective, the panic was over that um, the video actually still existed on the phone, or was available on the phone, and it's uploaded to iCloud. Now the problem with this this video version on iCloud is that it gets um, uh, reprocessed to um, full HD. So this is not the so if you download this file, it's it's in full HD. It's not in um, 4K. So from a video post processing perspective, this is a bad situation because one would like to be able to have the the, the video in 4K format and, and nothing, nothing else. So, so iCloud, I have not found a way to get the original version uploaded to um, iCloud. I, I, there, there was even I, I wouldn't like to get into this, but the, the, in in lots of hints there was a, like, oh, you just um, you 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 say to copy the file to the iCloud, but. Um, Basically, that menu option <laughs> doesn't exist anymore, as far as I can see, or the, the option to do that. So I think that Apple doesn't want you uploading, you know, really large files to iCloud. And in this case, they're trying to actually save space on the iCloud, so they um, re-encode it. So if you want a 4K video on iCloud, then um, auto -en encodes it to Full HD, and there's nothing you can do about it. So, let's move on. So, just to um, confirm, this is the Photos app on the iPhone, and then um, the video that's missing is that one. So this one you can't see when you're connected with USB. So, um, and then I've, you know, you have different sharing options, and theoretically you should be able to copy the full file directly from here into the iCloud. But the, those, that functionality has been, you know, the iCloud functionality is. Yeah, seems copy to iCloud files seems to have been disappeared, and then um, you know there are options to put it in Dropbox and stuff. But uh, I've tried those; they're, they're very slow. And then um, in my experience, they just fail. You get an unknown error, and then it, it stops the process. So anyway, the uh, the most non-intrusive method is to actually you um, 
Ah, this may sound strange, but you need to install the um, VLC for mobile app. So you do that first, and then you go back to the photo app and into the video, and then you click on on the share, and then you then you go down to save to files, and then you click on the VLC folder, and then just to click save. I won't do it because I've already done it. So that means what it does is it it exposes the um, the specific video that you've selected, so the VLC can actually see it. And if everything's okay, when you open up the VLC app, you'll actually see the video in the VLC list. And then you could, you need to select this um, Wi-Fi sharing or networking icon, and then you um, enable. Um, sharing on Wi-Fi and this gives you a URL on your on, you have to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network your PC is connected to or the same network and then here you'll see the URL you need to access from the PC so then you go back to your PC and then you um, go to the URL in question and then you get this nice simple display and here's the video and when you click on it then um, We'll um, start downloading it, and um, I've already done it. So, but um, now this here is the actual um, uh, full H no, or 4K. It downloads it in 4K format. I don't know why it's not updating the icon here, but the the actual film is perfectly okay. So I won't re-download it. So that's the way you um, fix your um, yeah access to the 4K version of the film or the video. So I just brought up the properties of the file in question, and then here we see the um, in the details. Then you can see the frame width, um, frame height. So basically, it tells you that it's um, 4K. So yeah, I hope you found this informative. Um, please consider subscribing. Uh, hit the like button if you thought the video was worth it. Uh, merch is available, or if you'd just like to buy me a cup of coffee, that's also possible. Links are in the description. And all the contributions will go towards developing the channel and projects. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.